Hello? It turns out I will be able to do one more before I go to bed. I'm literally going to bed after this one, so I'll do the final goal tomorrow, which I'm pretty confident is going to hit. By the way, thank you for like over a thousand views in four hours. That's crazy. Probably get more views on my first video for this than I like got on my entire rest of my channel, but hopefully it'll help my channel grow in the future. Ask Phantom Lyakuvine. Now, this is crazy if this is what I think it is. Let's see. Like any other... I am constantly required to answer questions for Worf's piece. I will be answering at least five questions selected from my loving audience to be presented on my social media. The questions will be chosen randomly and fairly. Prioritizing rarely heard voices from those who have the most followers to help me, to help me subscribe. Remember, answer questions that don't challenge me in any way and are are brilliant praiser. I'm not going to ask any questions of Spamton. Since I don't have a, like a Facebook account, I'm sure whoever ask, gets to ask the questions will ask the right lore questions. Oh my goodness. This is such a cool ring. I hope I win like, the worm or one of the really cool like stuff. I don't want the Spamton body pillow. Please don't let me win that. I, I don't want it. Please. Please no. Sports entertainment. I got a few special deal. Right, no link there. Right. It's just like a Rolex. <laughs> Spin. Oh, it's the Noel Rolex. <laughs> Any lore here? No, just Noel's name. These could be something, I doubt it. That's probably just like a manufacturer code. What's the name? Nothing says you are a big shot like a premium luxury jewelry power. Me proof? There lies the name of the Angel of Tetter. It's interesting to see Noel called an angel because it, that's a very specific name. When, oh my goodness! There is so much lore here. It's a very specific name when it comes to Undertale because the angel usually refers to refers to Frisk or the player when they descend into the underground and kill everyone. Or free everyone. It's a very specific term that's core to like the monster's religion. Which seems to be like some sort of like Christianity inspired religion of some sort that relies on angels, which are apparently evil. It's like reverse Christianity or something. I don't know anything about religion. Please don't ask me. <laughs> so the new girl, I keep talking. She really, really hates Chris. New girl. Susie? And you know what's weird? Literally, only Chris seems oblivious to this. Or are they obvious to. Are you getting bullied? Do they just not care? Then again, who? What's Chris think? I just don't care why they don't tell their mom. Or better, switch seats with me. Like I keep saying, well, class. She doesn't ever bully me, even when we're when there'd be a huge opportunity to come out switch seats. Everyone would be safer that way. X. Like, like you're not X smile. You're like you're not not going to believe what happened today, lol. After the bell rang, as usual, everyone rushed to see what could go out of class first. I stayed behind a bit to help Alice put away some books and look, no help, being nice as always, and look for some mysterious missing supplies stolen by Gaster. W D Gaster confirmed for Undertale. Oh my goodness! From Noel's stolen supplies from Alphys's classroom. Connection between the two confirmed. Oh my goodness! Meanwhile, Chris was was still asleep, face down on the totally blank notebook. For some reason, Susie had, hadn't left either. She was just sitting there, staring at Chris. Sniffing it? I wonder what she, what she liked, the scented, can scented candles. Like the Spamton G Spamton scented candle. Dun dun dun. Eventually, I started to leave too. I even almost said bye but by this time, but I was a bit worried about Chris, so I stayed outside the classroom to him watch. I stayed totally out of sight, however, Holiday Family Ninja Style, since Susie doesn't like Holiday Ninja Family, Susan Style? Ninja Style? Um, I didn't know Noelle's a ninja, but I explained, like, how she's able to be, like, Snowgrave. 
After a while, Susie got knocking over her chair over. She jumped into the cell to be put her shoes up on the desk and getting dirt everywhere. I just don't know how to clean it. She grabbed an apple, Brett Lee gave Alice a few days in English. Hey, Andy, <laughs> Chris didn't look up. Hey, Andy, Chris still didn't look up. Chris? Chris looked up. Susie rolled her eyes as she, and, and chilled all her horrible, very cool teeth. Oh, very cool teeth. Nice shampoo, apple flavored, right? Better be careful wearing that around me. Then she bit the whole apple in half, including the core. She even ate the seeds. And then Chris's face, which um, contained the arsenic, if you didn't know. Don't don't eat those, Susie. Anyway, Chris didn't react, so she continued. Keep smelling your apples. You might end up like this. Chris didn't react. Bit, and she pointed to the apple in half. There was almost awkward silence and snickering. But it wasn't just... No, it was just... It was just... It was just Chris just barely stifling some laugh. Did they think it was some kind of weird joke? Whatever. It was Susie. Susie much right. Uh, she, what? Whatever. It was Susie must have thought she was getting made fun of because she immediately just latched the apple right at Chris. But Chris, with their gamer reaction speed, <laughs> held their notebook like a shield and blocked it diagonally, bouncing it into the air and caught the apple. Then they took a bite out of it. Gosh. Though uh, that makes Susie mad. Chris confirmed an epic Fortnite gamer. Wow. You little. She ran over to the. She ran over and grabbed Chris by the hair, staring into their face really close. I froze, and then I knew if I didn't do anything, Chris would get hurt or worse. Somebody inside me just froze. I just stood there holding my breath, and Susie kept talking. One day, your mom's gonna get sick of you, little freak. As soon as that happens, Susie left. I feel felt genuine sick. Man, Susie was really messed up before. Like Susie became your friend. Someone might make you disappear. Dang, Susie's just like actually threatening murder, and she'll find out who else. But after all that, Chris didn't say anything. He exploded. Say something, you idiot. It felt like her voice echoed around the room forever. Then when it finally went quiet, Chris smiled. I think Susie's probably jealous of Chris having tutorials and moms that Susie's parents either don't exist or are very mean. To be honest, moved so slowly I couldn't even imagine them tell if they said something or what. But whatever it was, Susie's attitude suddenly completely changed. She let go of Chris back out quickly, then left the room in such a hurry she won today was leaving first race. I really wish I could have seen her reaction, but I was so scared, I literally just jumped in my locker. In the end of the day, I could see Lil's lats were shaped from behind going toward the entrance of the school, which, with her head held low. Finally, I heard the entrance door close. I sighed and suddenly froze myself, having built up my chest with feet and flew out of my body all at once. Holy cheese and crackers, I said to myself. I must start laughing from a leaf. Then suddenly, my locker phone opened and Chris was standing there. I started to say hello, and they just slowly shut the door on me left. Well, I just have a little... Oh, I ordered an apple shampoo. May I wear some? She won't bother Chris much. Not really much there. We'll try apple in the Noel part. Why is that here? Wow. Spamton, right next to Benjamin Flanker. Without continual growth and progress, such works and proof and achievements such as have no meaning. Edgerman Flankin and Spamton. <laughs> wow. Wow. Chris, I turned myself into a cube. I turned myself into a 3D photo motivated glass cube, and now I'm frozen there with some stupid famous genius I've never even heard of. Right now, blink and you'll miss it. Susie going to die? Or is it Susie sleeping? Prize Susie sleeping? Oh, blink noises. I like Morse code. <laughs> I'll let someone else decipher that. I don't know how to decipher Morse code. No faithful recreation. Right? This is fun famous skeleton, funny song, Paul. Hmm, famous skeleton. Could it be Sans Undertale? Well, that's all for tomorrow. I guess we'll look at that famous skeleton, the big collection, Spamton Marriage Becomes Legal, and the Spamton Body Pillow. I feel like these two might be related, but, um.
Well, there's only one thing left to try. Apple. Apple? How do you spell apple? I have to look this up on Google. This is how you know I'm not good at spelling. Wow, it's obvious. I was just doing it backwards. Is that right? Did I just get it wrong again? No, I didn't think of this. I just forgot a P. No, nothing. All right, well, this mystery will have to be wait by probably the spam dead body pillow, unfortunately, which is depressing, but um, unfortunately just the truth of the reality we live in, where spam dead body pillows reveal all of Deltarune and Undertale lore. Well, good night. Don't let the spam thing bite.